Hi everyone, so on the PTR I have been trying out the Marauder Demon Hunter here with the new Ethereals and this is actually a quite curious case because you have two different Ethereals that work for the set and do so in very different ways. So here on the one side you have the Bariza which has very high damage and buffs all skills on the Demon Hunter and it also has this freeze effect and you also have this 100% crit chance against frozen enemies and then you have the Wind Force, which specifically buffs archery skills, including Cluster Arrow. And it also has this Yang's treatment with the 50% resource cost reduction. And um, yeah, it just has a higher bonus for Cluster Arrow. So you'd think that since this is archery skill specific, you'd actually go with the Wind Force. But I've been trying both and I was not really happy with the Wind Force at all because of this huge knockback uh, chance that kind of destroys your pulls. While the Bariza does kind of the opposite, like it lets monsters move to you and then freezes them so they don't actually run away from each other and you have nice air damage procs and it helps you to survive at the same time. So pretty cool stuff. Here's a run that I've done with a GH120 clear. So um, nothing really fancy, but the Marauders definitely gets a nice boost from this uh, Bariza next season and the Wind Force also kind of works. I also tried the same setup actually with the Cold Cluster Rune and the Wind Force in T16 and there it worked quite well because the extra resource cost reduction really helps to keep you mobile with uh, the discipline cost reduction especially because you can vault around freely and previously I would have also suggested to run Yang's V-Curve instead of a Dawn here. So essentially you get a Dawn power from uh, wearing the Wind Force and it's a bit sad that they didn't buff it more so all the Archer skills are extremely weak so there's a Strafe, Multishot, Cluster Arrow and Reign of Vengeance and none, none of those are really you know like an important effective skill at a high end meta so I think it would have been really cool to just take the Wind Force and just straight up you know buff it not just by 200% but maybe by 800% or by 1000% or some crazy stuff like that to really lift those skills up to a point where they would be kind of comparable at least to something like uh, Gold Age. In general, the Marauders definitely needs some updates and so does Natalia's and uh, also Unhold Essence at this point. So it would be really cool to kind of see some improvements for those builds in the future, maybe with some cool new items. In fact, I really like the uh, Rocket Runes a lot more than the Cluster Bombs on Marauders, although I also like the Cluster Bombs pushing build. So both is fine, but I think the Rockets can really make a nice return here, maybe with some cool update and uh, extra damage buff from some item or something like that. So let's see what happens. But for now, this is what I want to highlight. If you would feel maybe not excited enough playing Gaudi Age in T16 or something like that, this is definitely a good alternative and uh, it really brings back some old school memories from like Season 1 and Season 2 when Marauders was like the king on Demon Hunter. In general, it's pretty amazing that the Ethereals can uh, lift a lot of builds to um, a really comfortable level on at least T16 farming because it's a cap difficulty and uh, that helps to just you know improve the overall power level of the players to make more of these builds viable on uh, such a scenario. In Greater Rifts of course it's way behind and there you can also notice the efficiency difference a lot more than you do here where yeah a run might be a few seconds faster or slower or something like that but in the grand scheme of things it doesn't matter all that much. So if you wanted to try this and go check it out next season. It's also very doable on live servers, so it's not like a really terrible build, but of course the extra power from the Ethereals help quite a bit. So this is what I want to share here. Hope you like this little video and see you guys next time.